voice and attend unto my wisdom. Bow thy ear to my understanding. That thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as an honeycomb And her mouth is smoother than oil But her end is bitter as wormwood Sharp as a two-edged sword Her feet go down to death Her steps take hold on hell Thou shouldst ponder the path of life, her ways are movable. Thou canst not know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy the door of her house. Lest thou give honour unto others, and thy ears unto the cruel. And thy labours be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last, and when thy flesh and thy body are consumed. And say, how have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined mine ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. of thine own system and running waters out of thine own well lest thy fountains be dispersed abroad and rivers of waters in the stream strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breasts satisfy thee at all times. Be thou ravished always, oh, with her love. Why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own in 
iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in the greatness of a folly he shall go astray. Standing.